Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. Listen carefully. The Bible says, For in the multitude of dreams and many ways, mark this word, there are also diverse vanities, but fear thou God. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 25, the Bible says, But while men slept, his enemy came and saw tears among the wheat and went his way. Mark that word, so tears among the wheat. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Take it with understanding. Say any food, drug, or spirit that is erasing dreams from my memory be put out by the blood of Jesus. Any food, drug, or spirit that is erasing dreams from my memory be put out by the blood of Jesus. Be put out by the blood of Jesus. Be put out by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. Are you just watching it for the very first time? You are most welcome. Kindly use the opportunity to subscribe and for you to be watching more of my videos. Today's topic is prayer against dream erasers. Prayer against dream erasers. Have you been finding it very difficult to remember your dreams? How often do you forget your dreams? Do you feel comfortable after waking up from a forgotten dreams? Or do you always struggle to remember the key activities displayed in that dream? Or you find out that the beginning or ending of that dream escaped your subconscious mind. If yes is your answer, then the power of dream erasers, the power that so tears, have really, really taken away your dream virtues. I pray for you today. Every power that has stolen your dream virtues shall return it in the name of Jesus. You shall continue to remember her dreams. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To deal with dream erasers is by prayer and fasting. Until you deal with dream erasers, you'll be forgetting, you'll be forgetting the important section of your dreams. Who are dream erasers? Dream erasers are powers that attacks and monitors your dreams activities. They are powers that makes people not to remember some or full section of their dreams. They are strong man, marine spirit, as old powers, enemies. Oftentimes, they steal and pollute the dream life of their victims. They block people from seeing some important victuals. If you are struggling to remember your dreams, you may have the enemy killing your dream power. Once your dream power is attacked, you may have no ability to remember the full section of your dreams. The devil knows that once you remember or understand your dreams, you are going to see their evil plans or the good news coming ahead. Not everybody forgets their dreams, but if you forget to remember your dreams, you need to pray against dream erasers. There are many reasons why you could be for forgetting your dreams. It could be as a result of food, it could be as a result of drug, it could be as a result of being sick, doctored, doctor has said that when somebody is critically ill, he has many chances of forgetting some things that displays in his in his or memory. Now, sin can make one to forget his or her dreams. Sin. If you have some sins in you, whether good dream or bad dream, you will have that chances, many chances of forgetting your dreams. May you never forget your dreams in Jesus' name. It is a tragedy it is a tragedy to forget your dreams and fail to do something about it. It is even more terrible not to dream at all. Most voices from the heavens use dream, vision, or even revelation to communicate to our spirit man. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of dream polluters while asleep. The devil does not want you to know what is going on spiritually. The dream erasers tries to cover your dream whenever you are about to move forward. Do you know how painful it is when someone is about to give you gifts in the dream, wonderful gifts, 
And when you wake up, you suddenly forgot, you suddenly forget the whole section of that dream. Meaning that you did not even, you can't remember what that person gave you, or you don't just know what really transpired in that dream. Is the work of the dream erasers. Dream erasers can damage your dream faculty and reduce your level of remembering things quickly that transpire in the past or present. The solution to fighting dream erasers is not by taking medication that cures headache. So, as a person or child of God, if you virtually remember your dreams, you are very good. But if you can remember your dreams, you need to join us to pray against the devil that so tears whenever you sleep. Are you ready to pray? Then if you are ready, then what are, what are the things you need to do? You need to command God to baptize your dream life. You need to ask God to destroy the dream erasers. You need to deal with your sin and repent from it. So by the grace of God, we are having three prayer sections. The instruction behind this broadcast is to embark on full seven days fasting and prayer, dry fasting and prayer. When we are talking about dry fasting and prayer, we are not talking that you, you need to eat during the process of your fasting. When you say something is dry, it's dry completely. No food, no water. This is dry. From 6 a.m. to 3 p.m., include midnight prayers for those seven days period of your fasting. Prayer section one. Our confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 17 on the screen. Supported with praise and worship for five minutes. Now, before you take this prayer punch, I want to bring out water. Pray, use Psalm 35 into that water as you we are back on this prayer now. Begin to read Psalm 35 into that water. After finish, after reading Psalm 35 into that water, you are going to use that water to bath for seven nights before you sleep, before going to bed. Use that water to bath. Once it finishes, you need to top it back so that you can remember your dreams. Prayer point number one. Tell this prayer point loud and clear. Say, powers that makes me to forget my dreams. Your time is up. Be arrested and restore my virtues in the name of Jesus. Powers that makes me to forget my dreams. Your time is up. Be arrested and restore my virtues. Restore my virtues. Restore my virtues. Restore my virtues. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number two. Say, oh God, empower me to remember my dreams in the name of Jesus. Oh God, empower me to remember my dreams. Take this prayer point for three minutes. Oh God, empower me to remember my dreams. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number three. Say, every power that is erasing all the important activity in my dreams, restore them by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that is erasing all the important activities in my dream, restore them by fire. Restore them by fire. Restore them by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. Say, every dark power holding my memory from understanding my dreams, fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Every dark power holding my memory from understanding my dreams, fall down and die. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number five. This, is, this prayer is for those people that normally walk into cobwebs. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, any cobweb spirit stealing away my good dreams, return it and cast fire in the name of Jesus. Any cobweb spirit stealing away my good dreams, return it and cast fire. 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 Pray this prayer. Pray, pray this prayer very well. You, that man, you are not praying. You, that woman, you are not praying. Pray that prayer very well. Any cobweb spirit stealing away my good dreams, return it and cast fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number six. Say, any sin in my life that is resisting me from remembering my dreams, be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. Any sin in my life that is resisting me from remembering my dreams, be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. Be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. Begin to mention those sins, those secret sins that you think might be blocking you from remembering your dreams. Any sin in my life that is resisting me from remembering my dreams, be blotted out in Jesus' name. Prayer point number seven, the last prayer point. Say, every evil attack I sign against me through my dream, oh Lord, help me to remember and deal with that powers in the name of Jesus. Every evil attack I sign against me through my dream, oh Lord, help me to remember and deal with that powers in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer section two. Confession Bible verse taken from the book of Psalm 112, verse 6. Praise and worship for five minutes. 
through all throughout this prayer. Lay your right hand upon your head and say this prayer upon Lana Claire. Prayer point number one. Say the arrow of high blood pressure fired into my body to make me forget my dreams. Be regulated by the blood of Jesus. The arrows of high blood pressure fired into my body to make me forget my dreams. Be regulated by the blood of Jesus. Be regulated by the blood of Jesus. Be regulated by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number two. Say every domestic power assigned to destroy my communication link with God. Da! In the name of Jesus. Every domestic power assigned to destroy my communication link with God. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number three. Say, oh God, show me the dream that will make me progress and fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh God, show me the dreams that will make me progress and fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this prayer point for four minutes. Say, oh God, show me the dreams that will make me progress and fulfill my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. Say, every evil dream that others had about me that is manifesting in my life, be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Every evil dream that others had about me that is manifesting in my life, be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. I shake them out. I shake them out in the life of that man, in the life of that woman, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number five. Say, let the blood of Jesus saturate my pillow and my bed tonight for dream clarity. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus saturate my pillow and bed tonight for dream clarity. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, begin to use that water to sprinkle upon your bed for you to sleep and have a clarity in your dreams. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number six. Say any power that is making bad dreams to come to pass in my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Any power that is making bad dreams to come to pass in my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number seven. I want to take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, any evil hand that has obstructed my brain from retaining information for too long, we die by fire, in the name of Jesus. Any evil hand that has obstructed my brain from retaining information for too long, we die by fire. Wither by fire, wither by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree upon your life any cause that is waving away dreams, good dreams from your life, any of your bad dreams, any bad dreams that have swallowed your good dreams, today they will vomit it in the name of Jesus Christ. The dreams which God has given you, the goals which God has given you, the directions about your life, your, the guidance, the way you should follow. The pathway you should follow that has been blocked in your dream. Today, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, everything shall be open to, unto you according to Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. I decree every secret thing shall be revealed to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, we are going to pray our session 3. Our confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 3, verse 27, supported with praise and worship for five minutes. Tell this prayer point loud and clear. Prayer point number one. So, oh Lord, give me the grace. To understand and interpret my dreams in the name of Jesus. So, oh Lord, give me the grace to understand and interpret my dreams in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You need to, you need to ask for the grace, the grace of Joseph to interpret your dreams, to interpret and understand your dreams. If a dream is bad, you need to know whether it's bad. If a dream is good, you need to know to know if that dream is good. It's very, very important. Prayer point number two. Say any abale spirit. That has killed my dream life be defeated by the blood of jesus any abalic spirit that has killed my dream life be defeated by the blood of jesus be defeated by the blood of jesus in jesus name we pray amen prayer point number three say any dream that will make me to have bad day shall not come near my dwelling in the name of jesus any dream that will make that will, that would make me to have a bad day Shall not come near my dwelling. Shall not call them near me. Shall not come near my dwelling. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. Hold your head with your two hands. Say, my brain receive supernatural revival. In the name of Jesus. Say, my brain receive supernatural revival. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number five. Say, every of my good dream stolen by powers in my foundation. 
be vomited out in the name of Jesus. Every of my good dream, stolen by powers and by foundation, be vomited out, be vomited out, be vomited out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number six. Say, any wicked power that does not want that does not want me to remember what the Holy Spirit told me in the dream. Say, any wicked power that does not want me to remember what the Holy Spirit told me in the dream. Fall down and die. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number seven. Tell this prayer point loud and clear. Say, I claim. I claim my victory and freedom in my sleep in the name of Jesus. I claim victory and freedom in my sleep in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray there shall be victory in your dream. There shall be deliverance in your dream. There shall be restoration in your dream. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you share this broadcast to your friends, your family, and everybody for them to be a partaker of this blessing in this video? If you're not yet subscribed, subscribe today. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua Oreke, your brother in the School of Dream Interpretation. God bless you.